This is Tim Bryce with my column titled, Glimmers of Hope. The spirit of the country has changed since the 20th century, and not necessarily for the better. Gallup tells us Americans continue to believe our morality is in decline. The country is politically polarized, our discourse is visceral, common courtesy has become uncommon, and our social skills are diminishing. It is hard to remain optimistic under such conditions, but I recently witnessed some glimmers of hope in the human spirit, which shows promise. I have been a fan of YouTube for a long time, and it is my go-to channel I stream on both my computer and TV. I find just about everything I want on it, including news, sports, music, entertainment, classic movies, and a plethora of oddball videos on a variety of subjects. It is here where I find both the harsh realities of the world as well as the glimmers of hope. The videos I will mention herein may not win any award, but there's some interesting segments which you will not find in the news media today. To them, it is as if such acts of kindness do not exist, but in reality, they do. However, you have to hunt to find them. What follows are some heartwarming clips which demonstrate humans do not have to be crass, vulgar, or unkind all the time, that there are still people with good hearts and well-meaning intentions. There are obviously many more of these videos on the internet, but you should think of this as a starter kit. My first one's called Lending a Helping Hand, which is a series of clips showing humans going out of their way to rescue animals and the thankfulness of the rescued. True, people can be cruel and ignore others in distress, but this first clip shows what animals can teach us about ourselves. The second one is called Simple Acts of Distress. Yes, we are capable of helping others, even to those we do not know. And that's what this clip is about. The third one is Mowing Lawns. <laughs> this is a favorite of mine, representing another random act of kindness. This shows a man mowing and cleaning up a yard for free. It may not be the most exciting to watch, but it is from the heart. Anyone who has mowed a lawn will relate to it. As an aside, there are several such videos on YouTube. The next one is Lending a Helping Hand. Much like the lawn mowing video, a church comes to the aid of a stroke victim by expanding his driveway and adding a wheelchair ramp to his house. Next, we have empathy. A boy and a three-legged dog teaches the concept of empathy. Next, we have expressions of true love, showing how dogs react to their owners returning home. And more expressions of true love, an outpouring of love when soldiers return home. It's always a pleasure to watch this. Next, we have inspiration, a pep talk from a kid which encourages people to lead a better life. It's well worth watching. Next, we have signs of respect, as expressed by athletes of all people. Then we have common courtesy, as conveyed by a television station in Detroit, Michigan. Next, we have citizenship patriotism, another favorite of mine showing a group of people taking the naturalization oath to become citizens of the United States. The looks on their faces at the end are priceless. And finally, we have the young crooner, a young man Sal Valentinetti wows the crowd on America's Got Talent with his charm and his voice singing a Sinatra classic. His story and music is heartwarming. Such videos are important as they teach by example, and hopefully people will emulate them. They also reveal we are not all jaded and evil, but possess compassion, empathy, charity, kindness, and respect. Seniors in this country like to talk about the good old days, when there was more courtesy and spirit of cooperation. Such virtues are not as visible today, thanks to the news media and changing social mores, but fortunately, there still seems to be some deep-seated respect for the human spirit. We can learn a lot about ourselves from these videos, as well as the many others on the Internet. It may be wise to watch these glimmers of hope now before someone removes them later. Friends, Keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.